I guess we'll start our artist showcase now. Um, I'd like to introduce Ruaida Omar. She's a local artist and current interior design student at Eastern Michigan University. Her work is informed by nature, spir spirituality, and Jungian psychology. You can see all of the lovely, um, <laughs> all the lovely visual art hanging around you. Uh, that's what I does. So um, everybody, give a loud applause. <laughs> there you go. You guys got it. Uh, to Roy. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Rueda. You can call me Ro. Um, I'm usually really awkward in front of audiences, so just don't mind me. Um, but basically, I've been drawing since I've been four years old, and um, art has been a passion of mine. And uh, my art really reflects um, a lot of nature and the aspects of the yin and yang. So you have black and you also have white. You have dark and you have light. And you can't have one without the other. And I think that combination is very important in our human um, growth. And um, I use a lot of symbolism, so you can see that I use a lot of um, third eye references in my art, and that's because um, it is important to know and to grow the aspect of you that we tend to not not like focus on, and that's our intu intuition and our intuitive um, capabilities. And um, basically what that represents is the ability to see without these two eyes, but your third eye or the metaphysical realm. And um, once you bring the dark into the light, you can actually help yourself heal. You can um, bring light for others and they can heal as well. And you start manifesting what you truly want. And I think that's what my art really represents. Um, manifestation and the psychology of human beings and um, really just spiritual growth for all of us not just you know it starts with the self but then it um, you start to heal everyone else and then they start to heal themselves and it just like continues so yep that's what it really represents my favorite one yeah so this one I, so I would say my favorite one is, I don't have a favorite, but this one right the here, one in the middle. yeah, that one is my favorite, but this one is, um, I like to bring this out because I had this in a dream, and um, I, when I was sleeping, I had a dream of a female um, in the middle of a circle, and then there was zeros and ones, and zeros and ones are binary numbers in math, and so basically, um, the universe is made out of numbers and geometry. You find um, geometry in nature. You find um, the Fibonacci sequence in a lot of things. And so I think this is very important um, aspect of like, yeah, of life, basically. But yeah. Hello. Thank you, guys. One more question. Rob. Yeah, yeah, of course. Sorry. <laughs> is, this, is this yours? Yeah, those are mine as well. Yeah. The man. Yeah, Speak about it, please. Yeah, um, so that one has to do with um, being here but not really being here. And by not being here, I mean the, the parts of you that kind of disappear in this materialistic world. So he's not really a, he, he, like who you are isn't really this physical body. It's your soul. So him disappearing into the whiteness is kind of him just becoming um, the energy of who he is. So yeah, that's, that's what that piece is about, really. Amazing. Thank you.